Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. There are some reports coming out. AP, according to uh, war, uh, topwar.ru, is stating that Trump advisors are dissuaded from a military solution to the North Korean problem. Now, I, I, we really don't know which way that's going to go. I notice also Iranian news is saying the same thing, that uh, the uh, Trump administration in an emergency meeting last night are speaking about uh, backing off from a, new, uh, from a war contact with North Korea. Uh, that still remains to be seen. I think it's only a matter of time, no matter which way we go there. But uh, the Associated Press reported that the U.S. government actually takes a step back, saying that the issue of denuclearization of North Korea will not uh, be solved by military means. The article said the U.S. president held an emergency meeting with advisors on national security issues and experts on nuclear weapons during the meeting, and questions were raised about how to get Pyongyang to abandon its nuclear program, uh, uh, to, or how to uh, get them to, to abandon the nuclear program. Now, where issues come in, I think one of the big issues for the United States is Pyongyang was not stupid. They brought in 200 foreign journalists. Uh, to cover their events this weekend. That puts the U.S. president very precarious situation to do a strike with all these foreign journalists inside of Pyongyang. And of course, he's been moving them around secretly, not disclosing their location, where they would be at, which if the U.S. does do a strike at this particular time and moment, he could end up killing all these journalists. Pyongyang, Kim Jong-un has not been stupid in what he did here, and I think he did it intentionally to make sure the U.S. would pay a heavy price publicly if they were to do a strike and then accidentally kill all these journalists at the same time. Now, it doesn't end there. If you go to the Chinese news here, China seeks Russia's help to cool North Korean situation. As you remember yesterday, we reported on Israeli News Live that Russia, too, had moved in uh, their uh, heavy military uh, movement in the eastern part of Russia down towards North Korea's border. China also on North Korea's border. Are they there to help China? Or are they there to, uh, excuse me, help, help North Korea? Or are they there actually to help uh, take down North Korea with the United States? Well, it looks like just the opposite is what I thought originally, that maybe China was going to help the U.S., but now it's coming the other way around. Trump insisted that China must exert more leverage on Pyongyang to abandon its nuclear ambitions, and China has been doing that with some very heavy, heavy uh, sanctions right now. But China is seeking Russia to help cool the surging tensions over Pyongyang's nuclear ambitions. The country's foreign minister has told uh, this uh, told his Moscow counterpart after Beijing warned of possible conflict over North Korea. Fears over North Korea's rogue weapons program have soared in recent days with the U.S. Naval Strike Force deployed near the Korean Peninsula. The President Donald Trump has warned the threat will be taken care of. Pyongyang has vowed a merciless response to any provocation. And of course, the U.S. still has not found that... Uh, the North Korean sub that is off the coast of California either. So there is a great big deal of fears. And since China has stepped up uh, uh, this ante by asking Russia's help, we also know that the U.S. on already happened sends F-35 stealth fighter jets for, the, for, their operation, for their first operational deployment to Europe this weekend. Looks like that the United States is preparing for an all-out World War III. They are getting ready to engage with Russia. At the same time, they're getting ready to deal with North Korea. Has the U.S. generals, who do not even need an authorization from President Donald Trump, have they really gone out on a limb and are ready to take down Russia, North Korea, and China all at the same time? Or are they planning on bringing a complete catastrophe to the United States with, a, with three different nuclear powers suddenly turning on them? This is a very serious calculation and whether or not NATO is prepared with the United States to go that particular route remains to be seen. We'll have to see exactly how this ends up playing out. Also, Sputnik reports North Korea the next surgical strike. Trump cruise missile strike on Syria spread fear that North Korea could be next, especially since the U.S. has just dispatched a naval strike group to the North uh, Northeast Asia. 
I'm just really concerned. You know, I can't, I can't help but wonder, and this may be something that's a little bit of a stretch here to, to suggest, but you know how that uh, former President Barack Hussein Obama set up a headquarters in Washington, D.C. and said that he's not just going away there. Could he be the one that's actually working with the military, directing the military moves while Donald Trump is more busy with just being the political face to the world? It ends up, uh, well, you know, just making sure the economy kind of gets back on track. I don't know. Like I said, it could be a long shot there, but it kind of makes you wonder after President Trump makes clear he's already given a broad authorization to the military. They kind of do what they want. Maybe he does have Barack Hussein Obama working with the military while he deals with economic issues. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.